In a certain sense, strategy elicitation gives you a mini modeling application. Uh, it allows you to model how people are thinking and to design new ways of thinking. Uh, you know, uh, the the whole the whole notion of design human engineering is to modify the model that they have, which means you need to understand what it is so that you can modify it and make it more fun and more interesting and more functional. Uh, in terms of mathematical mining, modeling, this is where you design calculuses. Uh, I believe in most universities, that's like a six month mathematics course to do one equation. So am I gonna be teaching that? No, there are universities for that. Uh, anybody who's done coding has done forms of modeling. Uh, you know, computer programming has always been uh, about modeling an experience that, you know, if there's a guy doing statistics for grad students, somebody comes in and designs a computer program that will replace them so that people can stick in data and get the same result. Uh, actuary tables are a model that insurance companies use. Uh, you know, every map of everything, especially outer space nowadays, is a model of the universe. And constantly we're finding out they're incorrect that things are further away, that things aren't made out of what we thought to. The more probes we send out, the more we discover that we're not right. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. Models are not sacred. Theories are sacred. If you have to defend your theory to the death, you will end up doing stupid shit. That's all there is to it. You know, the, you know I, I can't tell you how many Freudians look me straight in the eye when their client could get in an elevator and go up and down and said, you know, but this doesn't deal with the real problem. And I said, if somebody is terrified of elevators and you make it so you can ride on them, you have solved a real problem. And they go, but the underlying cause, and I go, the underlying cause is birth, right? If you weren't born, you wouldn't have any of these problems. That the, the notion of causality, you know, which is inherent, you know, the archaeological dig of, you know, when I started out, there were like 130 schools of psychotherapy. Uh, I made a list one day and typed up all the different ones that I could find. And I probably wasn't exhaustive because I only did it in America. And, uh, you know, there was no internet in those days. I did that by the books that people sent me and the books that I had and the people that I met. And there was Z therapy and transformational therapy and transpersonal psychology and Freudians and neo-Freudians. And all of these people would come in and try to argue theory with me or try to make what I was doing fit their theory. Uh, people used to come in up to me all the time and go, isn't this the same as Sullivan's theory of self? And I just look at them and go, no, because it's not a theory. You know, 20 years from now, it will all be different. <laughs>